And hello again, everyone. This is John Ray with Business Radio X, and I'm here with Darlene Drew. Darlene is the CEO of Leadership Conditioning, Personal and Professional, and she is a leadership trainer, speaker, and executive coach. Darlene, my question for you is, what do I need to do to restore trust and credibility to, toward leaders in my organization? Well, John, here's what I, I would say. First, I want to say that I have a belief about leadership, and that belief is to have the opportunity to lead people, it's a privilege, and I put emphasis on opportunity, and I put emphasis on privilege, and I say it because leaders, our impact upon people is tremendous. So with that being said, what I also want to add to it is this The best leaders to restore trust and credibility are those who haven't lost it. And they would be the prime leaders to work with other leaders, emphasizing the importance of their actions, those being serving, helping people, and simply making things better. That's ultimately what people who are showing up and working in their organizations want more than anything. And then the others, Uh, important points that I recommend are all values driven. I call them the, the list of aims. And here's what it includes. Simply valuing people, listening to what people are saying, including their complaints, learning from staff at all levels, making themselves available, being available to people, being transparent, owning our mistakes, telling the truth, and being invested in the growth and the development of those that leaders have the opportunity to serve. And when those things are demonstrated, that is what is the segue that opens the door for people to restore trust and credibility because they're paying attention to what leaders are doing. So the short answer is to restore trust and credibility is simply be a demonstration of what trust and credibility looks like in a leader. 